Hello and welcome to Basingstoke. This is the TaylorMade uh, European headquarters. And as you can see behind me, I've got the, uh, the tour truck. They've um, brought it back to the UK as they do every few weeks uh, to get it restocked. So all of the driver heads, the grips, the putters, everything they need for a, a few weeks out on tour, that's what they're getting this week. Uh, now the guys have very kindly shown me around, taken me around, shown me what's inside. And now they've vacated, they've given me the keys and it's time for me to show you what goes on inside this tour truck. Let's take a look. Right, so as you would expect, it's a real Aladdin's cave in here. And the first thing that you see when you walk in, I'll show you the workshop in a second, but the first thing that you'll see when you walk in here are some of the soft goods and the little, the goodies, I guess you'd say, that the players can expect as they go out on tour. This is where they pick up their golf balls, their gloves, their hats for a week. Now, players will get three dozen of the golf ball of their choice every week, unless you're maybe desperately in need of a few more than that. Most of them are good enough where they don't need more than three dozen for a week out on tour. I wish I was like that. Um, and as you can see, there's a, there's a split between TP5X and TP5. TP5 has been a slightly softer version. Um, Sergio uses TP5, Rory uses TP5X. You can take a close look and you'll actually see, so these are Dustin Johnson's golf balls just here. Uh, he's number one. Uh, Rory's a number 22, Sergio 49, uh, and you can just see from the, the players that there are on this row just how strong the tailor-made staff is at the moment. We haven't even mentioned this guy, this is Tiger's head cover. Um, Tiger obviously hasn't made much of an appearance on the European tour for a while, uh, but they keep a head cover in here for him just in case. Um, and you can see um, some of the other players, their gear is here, the hats, so the players who have specific sponsors for their hats, they'll get that done. Um, so that when they arrive out on tour, they wander onto the truck, or more to the point, the caddies probably wander onto the truck and they pick up whatever they need. There's more golf balls in all of these trays. As I said, they're stocking up this week, so some of the trays aren't particularly full. Um, but you can see that this is capable of stocking a hell of a lot of stuff for the world's best players. Now, follow me. And this is where, this is where some of the meetings take place for a week out uh, on tour so if a player needs to catch up with his agent and wants to get some privacy come in here out of the rain maybe um, and it's a really nice env environment just to chill out and relax there's a telly there's a coffee machine there's a drinks machine in there um, really handy to have and always parked really close to the rain so really useful for people to um, access when they're out on tour don't fall over in it now follow me this so you've got a few golf clubs here this belongs to mr james heath there is James Heath, Rafa, uh, Jacqueline. Um, you know, there's all clubs waiting to go. As I say, they've just come back from tour, so I'm sure they'll be busier next week. Um, right, so this is the workshop. This is where week in, week out on tour, the players will need things done to their clubs. It might be that you need new grips. It might be that you want a specific grind on your wedges. It might be that you need a whole new set. It might be that your clubs have got lost in transit or something. This is where they will get built. So this is the re-gripping machine here. There's two different types of tape. This is hydraulic, so it grips the club here. They can put the grips on. Two different types of tape. One is thicker than the other, okay? <laughs> Which means that some people, some people like to have, I was hearing earlier, one and a half uh, rolls of tape on their clubs. Don't quite understand how that works, but apparently some players are able to feel the difference. I guess it shows just how much of a perfectionist they are and how much they can feel the difference. Anyway, here you have, uh, this is a machine that clamps the club so that you can then start to make loft and lie adjustments. So it's set up for a three wood at the moment. This here comes down as a hydraulic comes down very powerfully, bang, holds the club in place. They can then make tweaks there and check them here. Uh, all the grips that the uh, truck carries are in these drawers here. It carries an enormous amount of grips. Now, if I open this drawer here, you will see a few special ones. So, uh, Sergio has his own specific type of grip. Um, you've got Rory's multi-compound there. Uh, this is Darren Clark. He's known as the Prince. Um, this is his grip, quite an old school grip, sort of half cord. Um, it really just shows just how this level of service the players get out on tour and it just shows you when you reach that level, you get access to this Aladdin's cave. It must be pretty cool. Um, moving on, we have the uh, different uh, weights that goes, go in the clubs. These are the little weight ports that go in the back that can change the weighting. Again, lost sleeves in here, TV, and that one very cool thing, this is the iPad. So you can control the TV, you can control the temperature in here, Apple TV, stuff like that. Very cool. Um, the shaft wall. 
Now, there are so many different shafts out on tour, they have to carry everything. They have to make sure that if any player's shaft breaks, they have a replacement for it. Uh, they can come on tour, they can, um, they can make that club again. There are 4,000 shafts available. Interestingly, this here, this is Rory's. This is an old uh, Mitsubishi Kurokaji shaft. I think this is, that's not Rory's, I think this might be Rory's. Kurokaji shaft. Um, and they do stock a few extras of that, even though it's old. Um, so the guys obviously don't want to run out if he has a disaster, if a shaft breaks. Uh, one week from now, they need to keep a stash in here. Nobody else is allowed to touch those, uh, be warned. Um, then you've got all of your, your wood heads. So these are the drivers. I think these are M1 drivers in here. Yeah, so you've got all these. That's not brand spanking you, but all of these are brand spanking you. M1s waiting to go, waiting for exactly the, the sort of fine tuning the players are after to make sure they've got exactly what they want. They've got all the different types of driver heads. Then all the fairway wood heads in here, hybrids in there. So moving on to uh, this side of the, the workshop, you'll see that there's two uh, shaft cutters here. And that's because both sides um, of the truck, there's a sort of mirror image. So it means that two people can work at the same time. This is a shaft cutter, uh, another loft and line machine. Um, this is the grinder. So if you're looking for a specific grind on your wedges, this is the machine you use. There are two belts. There's a blue one and this is the red one. The blue one is to, to get rid of big, um, amounts of metal from the, the bottom of the club. This one polishes it off to make it look really nice and uh, really sharp. Uh, then you've got your another loft and lie checker and um, the same for the, the putters. So again, they've got everything. It's, it's funny, in some ways in here, it's, it's incredibly high tech. In other ways, it does have a feel of a kind of old school pro shop where there are people in here bending shafts, uh, doing the loft and lie checking by hand. Okay, that's the inside of the truck. Let's go and have a quick, another quick look at the outside. Okay, so that's the inside of the tour truck. One thing that's worth pointing out about the outside is just how much the sides come away uh, from the main body of the truck. So while it's in transit, these go in, they're on hydraulics, they go in, so that everything that's inside the workshop is nicely set. You don't get uh, weight ports and driver heads flying around inside the cabin as it's in transit. But when it arrives, you may have seen it at Wentworth, it's just to the left hand side of the range all the vans park up and the sides pop out and that's what creates the room inside for the guys to do uh, the, the work that they need to to the clubs so this is the cabin and as you can see if i stand next to it sadly it's not open i can't get in there but it just shows you just how high off the road the driver sits uh, it does 8 mpg it does uh, 20 000 miles per year it does uh, obviously 80 mpg isn't a huge amount, but the reason it does 8 mpg is it weighs 35 tonnes. Now, I've also been reliably informed that it's a 510 horsepower Mercedes. It's absolutely fantastic to drive, albeit slightly scary at first, certainly scary to manoeuvre. Um, but that's the European Tour truck for TaylorMade. Uh, next time you see it, you might see it on the motorway. Now you know what happens inside. <laughs>